Good morning everybody. Myself Dr. Devashish Kundu. Today I am talking about rectum. Here is our topic content, introduction, location, extent, relation, blood supply, lymphatic drainage and applied anatomy. It is a distal part of the large gut. In a right side you see the large gut, there is a cecum, here is your appendix, here is the ascending colon, is the hepatic flexor, is the transverse colon, there is the splenic flexor, there is a descending colon, a separate sigmoid colon and then rectum and anal canal. It is placed between the sigmoid colon above, sigmoid colon above, and anal canal below. Location on the pelvic surface of sacrum and coccyx. Here is your sacrum and coccyx. This is the pelvic surface. Length is 12 cm. Extent. From the pelvic colon at the upper border of S3 vertebra, <coughs> extend continuous with the anal canal forming a flexor called the anorectal flexor, which is maintained by puborectal ring. Here is your diagram. This is your sacrum. This is your coccyx. In front of the sacrum and coccyx, there is a rectum and anal canal. This is the symphysis pubis. Here is the attachment of the puborectalis muscle. From starts from pubis, so it's called pubo, and goes backwards and downwards and around the rectum, and then attached to the symphysis pubis. So this muscle is forming the flexor called. Anorectal flexor. In the level, its level is 1.25 cm below and 2.5 cm in front of the coccyx. Caliber. Upper part and lower part, there is separate caliber. It is the same caliber as pelvic colon, but in the lower part, it is dilated and called as ampulla. It is surrounded by facial sheath called world layer sheath curvature there is two curvature anterior posterior curvature and lateral curvature anterior posterior curvature first concavity forward in the upper part to adapt the concavity of the sacrum here concavity forward here is a coccyx and Imagine there is a sacrum is situated, there is a concavity forward. Then perineal flexor convexity forward. Perineal flexor convexity forward. Okay. Lateral curvature first. Convexity in the right at the junction of the S3 S4 vertebra. Here is imaginary line midline so this is the convexity right side as a left side then convexity right side and then convexity left side okay pattern and relation here is divided into three parts superior one third middle one third and inferior one third there is a superior one third of the rectum is covered anteriorly and laterally by the peritoneum. Here is the peritoneal covering. In middle one third only covered by peritoneum but no lateral covering of the peritoneum. In lower one third is divided of peritoneum. This is the pouch of Douglas, also called recto uterine pouch, means in between rectum and uterus. There is a pouch called 
recto uterine pouch or pouch of Douglas in front of this there is another pouch called utero vesicle means vesicle means uterine bladder utero means uterus in between two viscera there is a called called ut utero vesicle pouch <coughs> visceral relation and really recto vesicle or recto vaginal pouch in female coils of ilium pelvic colon posteriorly pelvic surface 3 4 5th sacral vertebra which we saw in first two three slide medial sacral vessels pyriformis coccygeus sympathetic plexus lateral sacral superior rectal vessels laterally levator ani which is from the pelvic diaphragm or pelvic floor pelvic plexus superior rectal artery here is the interior of rectum this is a two fold longitudinal fold and horizontal or transverse fold longitudinal folds are present in the lower part of an empty rectum and obliterated by distension whereas the horizontal or transverse fold of rectum or Huston valves first second and third transverse fold here is your diagram <coughs> there is a superior rectal valve or transverse fold there is the transverse fold there is one another transverse fold here in there is another transverse fold superior middle and inferior rectal fold also called valve of Huston okay here is the atrial supply superior rectal artery middle rectal artery median sacral artery here is your diagram here is your superior rectal artery here is a middle rectal artery and there is an inferior rectal artery <coughs> here is another diagram so also the relation of the rectum Superrectal artery the direct continuation of the inferior mesenteric artery middle rectal artery a branch of internal iliac artery and inferior rectal artery a branch of internal pudendal artery here is your anterior wall of male rectal there is a lateral view where is the valve of Huston, there is a urine bladder, there is a prostate, <coughs> okay. Venous drainage, superior rectal vein, middle rectal vein and median sacral vein. Here is a venous drainage, superior rectal vein, here is a superior rectal vein, middle rectal vein, inferior pudendal vein, inferior rectal vein. Is another diagram where we show the venous drainage of the rectum lymphatic drainage pararectal nodes right and left internal iliac nodes inferior mesenteric nodes and superficial inguinal nodes which we saw in the diagram this is the superior rectal nodes middle rectal nodes internal iliac nodes common iliac nodes okay Nerve supply sympathetic and parasympathetic L1, L2, and SH234. Applied anatomy PR means per rectum examination, rectal incontinence, CA rectum or carcinorectum, neurological disturbance, proctoscopy, prolapse of the rectum, complete prolapse or procedencia. In the next slides, we show all this diagram. Here is a rectal examination, re examination to check for abnormalities of organ or other structure in pelvis and lower abdomen to check for growth or enlargement of prostate called benign prostate hyperplasia. A tumor in prostate can often be felt as a hard lump. Problem in female reproductive organs, rectal bleeding or tumor in the rectum. Here we show in the diagram how the PR examination is carried out. 
here is your prostate below the urinary bladder there is a prostate this is the normal and rectum and right side there is a rectal prolapse it is a condition which the rectum or the lower portion of the large intestine protrudes out through the last part of the large intestine or the anus here is the original diagram in the patient <coughs> Here is a protoscope seat obturator. Here is a protos here is your protoscopy examination. First of all, we say to patient to lie down in the left lateral position or sims position where the patient flexed his right knee to the chest wall and the left leg is straight. Then we introduce a lubricated proctoscope in the anal canal and after that we pulled out the operator and we see the any abnormalities in anal region or rectal region like piles or hemorrhoids, anal fissure, fissure like that. We see the details Applied anatomy in anal canal chapter. Then, thank you. Thank you very much.